As schools in Maine closed in Uganda as a way of curbing COVID-19 pandemic, youth and children continue being affected and sometimes it has led to early and child marriages in some parts of the country. It's on this ground that State Minister for Youth and Children Affairs, Honosa Matechenyirabashitsi, has appealed to parents to continue creating hope among their children, not to think that schools remain closed is end of life. Our advice as government is to request the guardians and parents, guardians and parents, to take charge of the children, uh, to do their parenting skills. This is the time that we have to sit with our children and encourage them, give them hope. It is not all lost. We know that tomorrow or the other day, this COVID is not here to stay. But uh, go not going back to school or getting a challenge doesn't mean that we should lose hope. Uh, we have hope that our children will go back to school and it will be us, the parents, now to create that hope with our children, the guardians that are there. Honosaya Mateche says that youth and children have been among the most affected in this lockdown to the extent that some get into other forced marriages and pregnancies. Uh, we have witnessed early marriages, uh, teenage pregnancies, child neglect. Uh, talk about them, very many. Most of our youth and children have been really affected. Minister also appealed to the community to be vigilant to children to protect them from messing up. The community. Uh, to know that something is wrong to one of our children and we come together and we make sure that our children are not derailed to go to the wrong the wrong ways. And uh, for sure, I know it has destabilized most of our youth, but I'm encouraging them to keep hope, to do the simple, simple work at home, uh, to continue revising their books. She says that despite all these challenges, life should be considered as COVID-19 continues to claim lives of many Ugandans. Our children will go back to school. There are challenges, but we, we have to learn to live with them. What we are looking at is life first. If they are, their life is secure, then we are sure that they will go back to school. Minister Salma Techi further warned parents for child labor, especially when schools remain closed. Even child labor is on an increase. Uh, because the uh, children feel they are tired of staying home. They don't say that a child shouldn't work, they should do some light work. What is not good is uh, giving a child hazardous work, which will disorganize him mentally, socially, and uh, at the end of the day, can even be harmful. She says that child labor is increasing, and those who involved will be dealt with upon according to the law. I do not support, and our law does not support that, and it is against the law. And uh, even the light work I'm talking about for children is light work which they are not going to be paid for. Because now if you begin paying a child, you're going to derail this child from continuing education. So whoever is doing it, it is really very wrong, and uh, for sure the law will catch up with you in case you are caught. Julius Momza, Dream TV News.